Hello guys, it's me again, Miss Simply Stylish, and I'm going to be doing a how-to slash hair tutorial. It's going to be in two parts because it's going to be kind of long, so I'll just put it in two parts. So these, I did a video on some tips for clipping extensions a week ago, and I posted a how-to of how I made them, but it didn't come up, so it, did, it wouldn't download. It said it had an error or something. So anyways, let's get started. This, these are my clipping extensions. This is how I store them. Just a little elap, put them all together, elastic on top, braid them down. This also helps hold a curl. So when you have to go like curl them, say you want to put them in and you still have the curl from the day before, you can just clip them in and do a little bit of curling instead of a whole head full of curling and it won't take as long. So I'm just going to unbraid them. Unbraid them. Shake them out. See, still has that wave pattern to it. And then I'll just slide the elastic down. So I'm gonna um, tell you how I made them. I went to my local hair store and bought some hair that matched my hair color and my hair texture. And the hair that I actually wanted, they didn't have, so I got another brand of hair. And it's alright. I don't really um, like it as much as I think I like the other one. But I went and got these clips. These are what the clips look like. They're snap clips. Snap on, snap off. They have like a little um, rubber thingy right there for comfort. And I sold, I actually sold this this track or these clippings, this clipping set with the actual thread that you're supposed to use. You're supposed to use this thread that you would use if you were to sew hair into your head, like straight on your head into braids. But, um, I actually ran out of that thread so for these two I just use upholstery thread brown upholstery thread um, I just had to sew like I had to do three or four passes on each hole which is fine you can do that if you want to with a regular sewing needle it's whatever they're holding up fine I've worn them about five six times so yeah they're good so I'm gonna show you how I put them in and what you're gonna need is brush and a large clip and just brush out your hair my hair is still um curled from yesterday when I wore them when I wore my clip and extensions I either put a small bump right there or I do a part down the center but I'm gonna do a part down the center because the full one do so with my hair it looks kind of retarded with the part down center because it's not as long and it's kind of retarded looking right now so what I do is I start and that occipital I think it's called the occipital bone that bone right behind your ear and I finger part and just part straight across it doesn't matter if it's straight or not I really don't care and I take my smallest clip and I um Measured them and made them myself so I know which ones go where because they fit like spot on with how I part them every single time. I take my clipping extension and I fit the middle clip in first. And then I do the side clips. Snap. 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 Okay, sorry for the interruption, and my daddy just brought me my laundry. Okay, see? One track in. Take out your clip, sit to the side, and then I part my next one right at my, um, I'll pull this out, and I part my next one, like, right at my, um, what do you call this? Temples? Part at my temples. And if you haven't seen my other video, go watch that one. I double wefted it. So I took two individual wefts and put them um, together to make one clip in. So it'll be extra thick and it's extra hot in my room right now. So I'll have to pass out. Center clip. 
outside clips. And done. With those. And I actually actually take um where my part is and I part right in front of my ears. Like so. Like I take the thing and I part right in front of my ears and I take this section of hair and I pull it forward on both sides so none of this hair gets entangled with that and it gets um, tangled and it's, it breaks off because it's pulling on it. So I usually do that but I didn't do it today. But I usually do it. Then I take it right up here. Like it was right here. Now I just go up a little bit. Part. Clip. Instant long hair. And this is my longest clip. My longest um, clip in. See how long it is? The long. And then I stick it in top. And then I kind of like pull this hair up so it won't pull on any hairs like in the front or whatever. Oops. Lost my truck. Alright. I kind of pull that forward a little bit. Clip it. And bam. Then you take, I take my brush and I kind of gently pull that hair over where it's supposed to go. And gently pull that hair over where it's supposed to go. And then gently hold the ends and brush it out. So yeah. One thing I don't like about this particular hair brand is that the ends, that's what the ends look like. And that's not just because I brushed them out. It's because that's what they look like. And that ain't cute. So, yeah. They're in. And see how they have, like, when you put them all together, they kind of have this nice, wild wave in them still. And when they have a nice, wild wave in them like this, I take my, um, sorry. To get this wave in them, I use my Infinity Conair curling wand and when they have a nice wave in them like this what I do is I just spray my hair with heat protectant to make it like a simple curly and still try to keep it kind of loose and wild like this I spray my hair with heat protectant and I go through and I only take the top sections like I don't go through and like part curl all this part curl all that that's gonna take forever and a day and I'm gonna lose that wild kind of beachy soft wave effect so I take top sections like this heat protectant curling wand this is not on so and my glove I also have a heat protectant glove got from salads for like five seven dollars and I use that and I wrap it wrap it all the way down to the thing and I like using the heat protecting glove because I like, like actually put it in my hand on there so I can hold it on there. And when my glove starts to get a little bit hot, that's when I know it's ready. Hold it, take it out, and then, of course, it's going to look like a better curl than this because it's going to be hot. But, yeah, that's what it's going to look like. And I just go through and I do the top sections. I make sure I get the back and do the top sections. And I do the top sections in the back. Take it out. Choom kind of hit the, the ends a little bit on some of them. If they look really, really raggedy, I'll hit the ends of them for a few seconds and let them go. And then, of course, since this is my hair in the front, I'll take a big piece. The bigger the piece is, the looser the waves. So I'll take a big piece, and I won't start, like, all the way at the base because I don't want the curl to be tight. I'll start, like, down here. And I'll hold it with the glove like that. Do like that and let it go. 
and of course it'll do a better way than this but it's not on vice versa to this side and then when I get finished uh, I'll put the herbal essence bamboo like the one where it's like flexible holes spread all on there all all sheen then spread again with hairspray and then I'll take my hands and I'll break up the way so they're not as big and by the end of the day they fall and they look like this so I'm gonna show you how long it is see this is how long it is on me and this is the back I don't know if you can see that but it comes down to like yeah like right there that's how long it is on the bottom So these are my color pen extensions. I'm gonna be doing a tutorial of how I curl them with my conical curling iron to get like that soft wave like this. So if you wanna see that tutorial, stay tuned.